Hey, what's up, guys? So if you've been following the channel, we've been using the ET8550, the WF2830, and the XP15000 for sublimation these last few months. Now, with these and all Epson printers, every time you set up the printer for the first time and initialize it, every time you change the inks, and every time you perform a head cleaning, the waste ink gets flushed into either a waste ink pad or a maintenance box. Today, we're going to be working with the XP15000, and I'll be showing you how to replace a maintenance box and I'll also show you how to reset the maintenance box using the maintenance box ship resetter. So let's get into it. So when the maintenance box is full, you get a maintenance error on the printer's home screen alerting you that the maintenance box is full and that you need to replace it with part T3661. This usually happens after multiple head cleanings. You just simply open the main cover, unscrew the cover covering the maintenance box, Remove the old box and replace it with a new maintenance box. However, if you've installed the external waste tank because you've converted your printer to DTF and do a lot of maintenance, or because you're a high volume printer that does a lot of maintenance on your machine, or if you need to continue printing temporarily until you can source a new maintenance box, you can use a maintenance box ship resetter like we have here. You'll line the pins up of the resetter with the contacts of the chip of the maintenance box, you slightly press on the resetter and the indicator light will flash red and then a solid green once it's successfully reset. You also want to make sure that the maintenance box has at least 15% capacity. You can check this on your supply status screen. The gray part of the line represents the empty portion of the tank, so don't let the gray part get too low or too far to the left before resetting. Once it's reset, we'll put it back in and hit next to get off the maintenance error screen. Then hit done to let the printer know that we've either changed out or reset the maintenance box. It'll tell you that it's processing and then show you the supply status screen. And as you can see, the gray portion of the box is full, indicating that the maintenance box is either empty or new. Once that's done, you should now be able to print again. Now, if you plan on using the old box temporarily, don't go too long without replacing it. If it gets too full, it could wind up leaking into your printer. But if you've installed an external waste tank, you don't have to worry about it. Just reset and replace your old maintenance box and keep on printing. All right, that'll conclude the video. I hope it was able to help. I'll put links in the description on where to get the maintenance box and the maintenance box ship resetter used in this video. I'll also drop links for the Dynamite Gorilla Sublimation ink and the refill cartridges for the XP15000. As well as where to get the chipless firmware along with the coupon code to use on inkchip.net for 10% off of an activation code at checkout. I'll also drop another video soon showing how to install an external waste tank on the XP15000. Thanks again for watching the video guys. Until next time, good luck and good night.